Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Well, it seems like every time we go to an RV park, someone else will suggest another RV park that they would like to see. I know a lot of you people that watch the channel, travel, stay at the RV parks here in Rockport. And I actually like checking them out as well. Now, the one we did last night, everyone said there were no trees. This one has trees. <laughs> This is the Sand Dollar Resort Motel and RV Park. Sand Dollar registration, no trespassing, violators will be prosecuted. Well, I hope trespassing doesn't include drumming up some business for this place. <laughs> hey, they have a uh, extensive website. I'm going to put it in the description. And uh, so they have an RV park here. And they also have uh, motel rooms. And I was reading the uh, reviews and the motels. Everyone said they're nice. They're old school, but uh, very comfortable. The park got good reviews. Uh, the only bad reviews I read about the place was uh, someone said there were mealy worms everywhere, uh, which is those little fuzzy worms that we get every year throughout the entire region. So I don't know how they can hold the RV re, uh, resort responsible for that. Big wide open areas. Lots of live oaks. Looks like they allow older trailers, but everything's uh, pretty well maintained. They have an area over here for trailers. They have two swimming pools here. I just kind of want to take a loop through the side here to show you. Basketball court. This kind of reminds me so much of New Jersey. Like the campgrounds in New Jersey around Dennisville. I love the fact they have the live oaks here. Now I'm sure that does stop like the huge trailers coming in. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have some spots for the larger trailers. What do we got? Showers? Restrooms? Yeah, probably uh, some snowbirds and some people, working class people. They have all the rates on the website. kind of going around the trees now we didn't have to worry about that at the other place did we the other day i probably have about 15 or 20 trailer park i don't want to call them reviews because i'm just showing you the park i wouldn't do a review unless i actually stayed here for a while just uh trying to show you people coming into town what some of your options are i know this has a back entrance as well that puts you right on Fulton Beach Road, right on Aransas Bay. So it goes all the way through from the highway to Aransas Bay. There's one of the pools on the right. I think we'll circle back in a little bit and uh, go down. There's some side streets to this on the right there. These trees not only look pretty, but in the, in the summer, it will help keep you uh, a little cooler. There's the office. That's where you go sign up and register. Their phone number, of course, is in the uh, on their website, but 361-729-2381. Sand Dollar Resort, Motel, and RV Park. I think we'll... Uh, so this is going to be the motel rooms on the right, and then up here on the Fulton Beach Road... What's that? Shuffleboard? Looks like they might have... That's where the second pool is over there. But I think you can see it from the road. Got some deer for you. Little photo op for you and the kids. Sand dollar. Okay, it tells you where the rooms are. Okay. 
Man, when that was uh, Alice Faye's, and then I think it was the Oyster House for a while. That was a good place to eat. I really loved Alice Faye's when it was at the old location where uh, the Sugar Shack is now. But I understand they wanted to expand. Alice Faye's was a restaurant. My favorite place to eat in town. Especially when it was at the Sugar Shack. We'd go there three or four days a week when we were working and uh, go there for lunch. Had awesome food and just really good uh, cheeseburgers, salads. So this is the one side of the motel. I don't know what that building is. There's the second pool right there. Yeah, two small, very clean, well-kept hotels a few hills and uh, I don't think this is part of the hotel but I could be wrong now I'm going back to the other side here Aransas Bay is right behind us looks like they were getting some work done on some of these but yeah uh Good reviews online for the RV park and for the uh, hotel area here, or motel, I'm sorry. What is it? A, a motel has an exterior room door, and a hotel has an interior room door. Is that the difference? I know the motels are usually older, but it's nice when you can just back right up to your room, you know? With my knees, I do appreciate a good motel. I've stayed at some hotels where uh, it's a 10-minute walk from your car to your room. <laughs> I kind of want to check out this pool again. And I think we're in Fulton, but we're right on that Rockport-Fulton line. Get my finger out of the uh, picture here. That'd be nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent-sized pool, actually. I wonder if it's open this time of year, because I'd, I'd be in it a day like this. It's 75 degrees. We got a cool front coming in later. So by the time you guys see this at night, you just passed the office. <laughs> I like that. Hey, dummy, go back and register. I did want to take a drive down uh, these side streets. When I looked, there was a little online map, and that is awesome. Their uh, website really is detailed and shows the park layout and gives you rates for holidays and uh, seasonal and for the motel and the RV park. You're about... Uh, five minutes from Walmart and HEB right here. Maybe six, seven minutes from Rockport Beach. You saw where the bay was when we go right out the back. You're at the bay. You want to go throw a fishing line. You're a few minutes from uh, Fulton Pier, which is all lit up with green lights at night. So uh, fishing, hanging out little history, a little relaxing. It's a good location. And I kind of like the gravel roads. I kind of like the trees. It's kind of the complete opposite of the RV park that we looked at last night. And they're both good parks. It's just what you're looking for, you know? And it's quiet. It's about... 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning and you can see once we get back in here you don't hear the traffic from the highway when we're right up on the highway you can you know you can hear the trucks passing and all but these are the spots are close together but they're not right on top of each other like some of the other rv parks that we have visited yeah so if you're interested guys check out their website give them a call Looks like a nice place. And uh, we're back to 
business 35. Now, is this still Highway 35 here? It splits when if we make a left and go down about a mile, that's where the business and the highway splits. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for suggesting the Sand Dollar Resort Motel and RV Park.